Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question find words that can be formed by characters. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So first of all, we need to know how many each character we have. So count each character with um, character's input. So let's say um, ch, and uh, we use a hash map. And uh, we have two a, and uh, one t, and uh, one c, and uh, one h. Then check characters of words uh, input one by one. And if we find the same character in ch hash map, count down the value with like a minus one. Okay, so let's see one by one. So first character is cat. And uh, before uh, we count down, so we want to copy this ch because uh, if we, so we want to use this ch hash map for every word. But uh, if we update this ch hash map directly, so let's say we first uh, character first word is cat. So in the end, um, this ch should be like a, a is one, t is zero, and the c is zero, right? And then uh, when we start to uh, find uh, like a character with bt, so ch hash map start like this. But uh, um, we want to use this hash map, right? So that's why uh, before we try to find the same character, uh, we need to copy this ch. So like a, let's say copy, and a is two, and t is one, and the c is one, and the h is one. And then um, every time we find the same character, we update this copy, hash map, okay? And then uh, when we start a new world, so just a, uh, um, copy this ch to this copy um, variable so that we can uh, reset like a 2111. So let's begin. And uh, first of all, we find the cat. So iterate through one by one. So we find c, zero, and uh, a, e, we find a, and we find t. So we can create a cat with uh, this uh, these characters, right? So that's why. Uh, less should be a uh, length of cat is now three and then move next and then as i told you um we copy this ch to this copy variable so now again like a two one 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 and then uh, find a bt but uh, there is no b right in the case uh, we don't do anything and then um next character next next wall is hat and uh, before that, uh, update, uh, not update, uh, copy hash map to copy variable and uh, 2111. And uh, in this case, h should be 0, and a should be 1, and t should be 0. And uh, we can create a hat with uh, these characters, right? So add uh, length of hat, so 3, so result should be 6. And then move next, so next character, next word is 3. So first of all, copy ch to copy variable. So two, one, one, one. And then, so we have one t, so zero, and r, so there is no r, right? So then we cannot create three. So that's why in this case, output is six. Then uh, what if we have extra character when specific character was already zero in hash map? So let's say next character is a, but current hash map is like a is zero, and t is one, c is one, and h is one. So in this case, of course, we cannot create that word. So in that case, we don't add our length of the word to result variable. It's obvious, right? Yeah, so that is the basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a hash map, ch. And then, first of all, count each character of Kara's input. So for C in Kara's, and then CH, key should be C, and equal 1 plus CH, get, key is C, and 0. The whole value is 0. And then um, create a result variable with 0, and uh, let's iterate through words. So word, word in words. And then first of all, uh, we, uh, we have to copy ch. 
So the point is we cannot like this. So if in this case, if we update copy, so CH also uh, changed. So to avoid uh, this problem, uh, we use uh, like a copy function like this. Um, in the case, if we update uh, this copy, so this CH is not affected. And then uh, for C in word, so iterate through uh, each character one by one. And uh, if C in uh, copy, so check if we have uh, same character in copy. And uh, copy C is not zero. So in that case, I'll count down the value with minus one. So copy and C minus equal one. And then if not the case, immediately break. But uh, before that, um, so after, okay, so after that, so uh, we want to add length of word to result variable like this. But uh, in this case, um, every word is added to result variable, right? So um, I think uh, there are several ways to avoid this. So one is uh, using a flag. Or I can take uh, this way. So um, if uh, we want, uh, we have to break the this for loop. So before that, um, we subtract current length current length of word. So minus equal length of word, so that we don't need like a if statement here. So if we have frag, so we need to uh, if statement here. Like if is uh, like a good, and uh, if uh, is good is true, um, so add uh, length of current word to result variable, something like that. But uh, um, if we subtract current length of word um, before uh, adding the current length of word, so that means um, it's same as like a flag, and we don't need a, like a if statement. So that's why um, I subtract the current length of word before break. And then, yeah, actually that's it. After that, return less. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, it looks good. And the very efficient algorithm, bit 98%. So time complexity of this solution should be, I think, an order of m multiply n plus m multiply k. So m is number of words. And uh, n is like a copying the dictionary here. And uh, k is um, like a length of uh, current word here. And the space complexity is, I think, a on. So for like a ch hash map, this is a step by step algorithm with my solution code. I hope this will help you understand my solution code deeply. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.